So here we are. We're in the third video for Chapter 7. We're still talking about accounts receivable management. And I want to come back here and talk about collection days. So, so if my turnover is 6, that means I'm collecting approximately every 61 days. Now this is important to know because here's what we're talking about. If I'm giving terms of 30 days and I'm collecting every 61 days, then i got to find a better way to speed up my collection. Okay, they're paying too slow for me. So if they paid, if my if I collected every 35 or 40 days, that would be excellent. But I have to look at my credit policies, how I offer credit and what I'm doing with it to see can I change something that can speed up the payment. Because remember, the goal is to get the money in your hands as quick as possible. Now we have something called, there's a report in accounts receivable, if you've ever worked in this, it's called aging of accounts receivable. And it's a report that generates everybody who owes me money, how much they owe me, and when it's due. So I can actually know who's not paying, who should I be calling, and this type of stuff. And the report looks similar to this, okay? So I have all my customers listed here. This is how much they owe me, and this is how many days outstanding. Now down here, so let me explain. So the same thing down here, days outstanding. So my terms are 30 days. So on day 31 from the invoice date, they owe me the money. So if it's 30 days outstanding, so if it's in this category, then really the invoice date was 61 days ago. Okay, so 61 days. So remember, because the first 30 days are the credit term, and on day 31, it's now one day late. So on day 60, it's really 30 days late, if that makes sense. So if you look here, I've got 31 to 60 days outstanding. That means the invoice date is at least 90 days old. 90 plus so that means this is at least three months so it means the invoice date is at least four months old okay the question i would be is why have these people not paid me so when i'm actually calling to collect money from customers i'm probably not going to be calling these people as much as i will be calling this group right here and I should never have anybody fall in the 90 plus days unless I already know what's going on. Maybe they're working something out or we're working out some agreement. They're waiting for a check, a settlement, something. But you don't want to have customers sitting down in this area and not know why they're there. So you're going to focus on calling your customers. This is how you get your money in quicker. You call them and you ask for when are they going to pay the invoices. Again, I would not focus my time calling people that are only 1 or 10 days late, depending if they fall into this category. Actually, this would be 1 to 30 days late. Unless they're closer to 30 days late, then I would call them. Typically, depending on the industry, some industries only pay at 45, regardless what your terms are at. So if you have a 30-day term and their standard to pay is 45, they're always going to pay 15 days late you just learn to live with it. Or tell them you don't want them as a customer. See how well that goes over. Not too well. So you always want to be in touch and in communication with your customers to find out why are the money sitting out here, still sitting here, what's going on, when can you expect payment? Because you have to make a decision. The longer the AR stays on this aging, I've even seen it go out over a year, You've now lost all profitability on that order. Okay, our next video is going to be inventory management, asset management for Chapter 7.